it's really a small list. It's just really your instrument. Uh, mine is on my backpack. It's my clarinet. Uh, speaker. Uh, optional. Speaker is optional. Because if you got an instrument, all you really need is your instrument and your uh, something to work as a tip jar. Um, so for me, it will be my clarinet. Today I am bringing a backup flute <laughs> just to play around on my lips guitar. Then we got a uh, advertising material. Make sure your advertising material is visible. And uh, this is what I'm using as a tip jar, just a foldable laundry basket. Ooh. Fancy, fancy. <laughs> That's funny. But also make sure that you guys bring some water too. I got it all in a bag. Bring some water. Something to hydrate with. It's hydration, water and hydration. Yo, yo, yo. And you'll be good to go. You know, that's about it. Alright everybody, so uh, getting ready to get started. We are at the strip now. Very, very close to our destination.
guess uh, a lot of the, I guess one of some of the main questions uh, for people who are interested in uh, wanting to busk or street perform themselves um, would be, you know, first off, uh, do I do I need to get a permit? Do I need a permit? Where do I go to play? Where can I play? Do I have to be really, really good? Can I be a rapper and do it? Can I rap? Can I rap on the street? Can I busk as a rapper? Do you make enough money to survive? So these are some of the main questions. So let me try to answer them in that order. I guess uh, um, to answer the first one uh, in order, um, you can really pop up and play anywhere there's a large crowd as long as you're not blocking the walk path in most cities. Um, Las Vegas, where I'm at, is kind of a strange city. Uh, it's a little bit different than some of them. Um, I have had a few, uh, a few situations where I had been asked to leave by the police. The police told me I had to go, but just uh, like maybe twice since I've been out here in the last two years. But that's only happened twice, and every time it's happened, I just I just leave and come right back and start keep playing. Never have any issues. So if you ever have any issues like that in Vegas. Just leave and come back when they're gone. They're, 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 they'll never stay that long anyways. <laughs> or you can go always get a permit and play in Fremont. I've done that before, but personally, Fremont is not a good spot for me because I don't like to have to carry a whole bunch of stuff like microphone, equipment, and large speakers because you need all that stuff to, drown, to, to kind of be heard over all the noise and hoorah in Fremont. Uh, but in Vegas, you can go to any one of these, these bridges, any, any kind of, any walkway, and just start playing anywhere you're at. Anywhere you can be in front of anything, you know, as long as you're not at private property. You know, some, some sometimes people who have private property sometimes they can trip, but most of the time they don't trip either. But you can pretty much just just use uh, the rule, like just play until somebody tells you to stop. You know what I'm saying? That's my rule. Whenever, whenever I feel like I don't know uh, if I go to a new spot, if I'm in a new city, I've been to most of the cities in America busking, but if I go to a new city and I have no idea whether I can play or not, I'll just play and see if somebody tells me to stop or not. Worst case, the worst case scenario is somebody asks you to leave, you know. You're never gonna get really jacked up for, for busking. Even police don't ever really uh, jack you up or handcuff you for trying to play music on the street. So don't be afraid of that. And uh, I mean, the, the main thing is just to have fun and you have to be able, you have to enjoy what you're doing. Uh, me personally, I enjoy it. So it's like, you know, if I'm not out busking, um, I mean, I have a big empty slate in my day, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta feel that with busking. I enjoy it. I like uh, playing for the people and getting the reactions. And, and of course, the money is great too, but the money sometimes it fluctuates. Sometimes in, in seasons when it's heavy rain, the weather is messing everything up, then you might, uh, it might be, it might be a little slower, but all in all, it's just all about just enjoying what you do. Cause uh, for the most part, you'll be winning. For the most part, you'll make a lot more than you'll make uh, uh, working a regular 95. So yeah, you'll, it's just I guess it depends on skill level you know the better you get the more you get the faster you get it you know but uh, you also I mean for me um, that's it I mean and then I guess the answer to uh, there's other couple other questions too um, um, uh, can you rap yeah you can be a rapper and busk yes I have a couple friends that are buskers that rap vibe there's a guy named vibe you can check him out on uh, Instagram or YouTube Vibe more. He's a he's a rapper, King Vibe, um, and he started off busking. He still busts all the time, and he's he's got a pretty large following. But uh, yeah, just uh, it's all about just doing what you love and loving what you do. And uh, that's about it. Yeah.